Hey guys, Daryl here again. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the crossbars uh, off our RAV4 Prime. Um, there could be a couple of reasons why you want to remove the crossbars. Um, maybe you're just not a huge fan of the look of the crossbars. My wife really loves them, so I don't, I don't think she falls into that category. Um, the cost crossbars do add a little bit of wind noise, and so perhaps you're not really a fan of that. Um, the crossbars also perhaps might affect fuel mileage, and we'll, we'll check that at some point. Um, so that might be another reason. You might have the, like the panoramic moonroof, and the crossbars kind of cover that up, and so you might want to get rid of the crossbars so you, you know, aren't having your really nice panoramic moonroof covered. And um, finally, you, you simply might like to use your moonroof and don't want to have that extra wind noise that the crossbars make. So there could be a number of reasons why you want to remove them. And it only takes 10 minutes or so to remove them. And you can always put them back on. So let's go ahead and, and get started. And um, we'll see how easy that is. Okay, bye. Okay, so we're about ready to get started here. Hopefully, um, if you did the install yourself, you probably don't need this help, but because you install it yourself and taking it off is easier than installing it. But it could be the, the case that the dealer just had it installed and, and you had just and you just got kind of like this packet of stuff. Um, so what you're gonna look for in this packet of stuff is you should have uh, your directions. You'll have your roof rail cover plates. Um, it's really important that you still have these that will go over to the top of the roof rails and make it look nice and clean. You'll have the little torque wrench, although you don't really need this to uninstall. And you have the key, which is really important, so to open up crossbar covers, whatever they're called. And um, yeah, I've got, usually you'll have two of those. And so those are the pieces of, of things that you need. Uh, mostly important, these things are, are what you really need. I guess you need the key, but you could probably take it off without the key too. Okay, let's get started. Hey guys, okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is using our key here, we're gonna unlock all of the locks on the cover. And so to do that, um, you just put the lock inside, like so, and then you just turn it, and that unlocks it. So it's really easy. Okay, so our second step is to remove this cover plate um, from the crossbars. And um, basically it went in kind of this way, and then snapped in place, and so you're just basically gonna Grab it from here and pull it off. Real simple. Just pull it right off. And so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the other three. I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys. For the next step, we're going to use. Now you could use the, um, I guess the torque wrench that they kind of supplied to you. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use the socket wrench. Um, it's um, 13 millimeter. Um, to remove the um, bolts, and we have four bolts to remove, and it should just take a second. So that's the bolt that we need to move, remove right there, and um, let's get to it. That's the first one. Um, those of you that have power tools, <laughs> you'll find this piece a lot easier. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other three and I'll be out back with you in just a second. Okay, so the next part of this is just basically to, re to remove the crossbars. So carefully um, pull it out. Make sure you don't scratch anything as you're doing that. Okay, and the last little piece of this is basically to install um, the roof rail covers, cover plates, um, back in, in on top of the roof rail roof rail holes, and so if you notice the roof rails on the on the back of them, you'll, first of all you'll notice that it's kind of notched, um, so you can see 
at its notch there. And also, you will notice that on the back of it, it has where it is. So if you see that one says right hand rear, um, so this is gonna go on the right hand side of the car in the rear. Um, so it's important that you look uh, at each of these cover plates to know where it's slope, where it goes to. Um, so, so we now know this is on the right hand side of the car and it's in the rear. So I will admit I was a little confused when I installed these cover plates back because it wasn't clear to me how they were oriented. Obviously I know this is the rear one and it's the right hand side one, um, but I didn't know which way it was oriented. And if you look at this, um, you see it's, there's a couple little kind of notches right here. And that would indicate kind of like it's a longer prong. So that would indicate to me that it's this longer prong right here. And then on the other side, it's a shorter one. So that would indicate to me that it's the shorter one here where it goes, this shorter notch. I tried to put them in the, in the other way because it wasn't clear. Um, but this is, seems to be the way they go in the best. So anyway, they just snap in. So what I do is I take the short side first and I put it in here and get it in there real nice. And then I just push on it and then it just snaps right in there, nice and tight. Okay, so we're gonna do the other three, okay. All right, so that finishes it. Um, we're, all, we're all done and um, we're turning it back to stock. And if you ever want to install them again, um, it takes a little longer. I would say that took me about 10, 12 minutes or so. Probably takes you about 15, 20 minutes to install them. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope you liked it. Okay, um, bye. Mm -hmm.